In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the differences between raster and vector data types. When working with web maps, it's important that you understand there are really two file types that we work with, raster data and vector data. Raster images, also known as bitmaps, are basically just a grid of pixels, and each pixel has its own color. Examples of these include bitmaps, JPEGs, and PNGs. Vector data, on the other hand, uses mathematical equations instead of pixels to draw the images. It's a series of lines, arcs, and color fills. In web maps, there are three different kinds of vector data that we work with. Points, lines, and polygons. In web maps, rasters are primarily used for the base map tiles, any kind of an image overlay, and for markers and other kinds of icons. Vectors, on the other hand, are used to represent just about everything else. Let me show you some examples of each of the different kinds of vectors, points, lines, and polygons that we use in web maps. Some examples of points might include city centers, landmarks, or office locations. Anytime you have just one specific latitude or longitude on the surface of the earth that you're using to describe your object. For lines, these include rivers, roads, and power lines, anything that you need to describe from point A to point B. For polygons, these could include buildings, lakes, or even administrative boundaries like counties, any kind of closed shape that could be filled in with some kind of unique property. In web maps, vectors are always projected on top of the raster base map tiles. This is an important concept to keep in mind as you develop your web maps. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.